Good evening, members. If you're all sitting comfortably, we'll, we'll kick off. You're all very welcome to the annual general meeting of Derry City and Stormont District Council uh, for the year 2021. At this point, I'm going to ask the Chief Executive to take us through the notice and summons of the meeting and the members' attendance and apologies. Over to yourself, John. Thank you, Mayor, and uh, good evening, members, both physically present here in the Guild Hall and remotely. To all members of Derry City and Strabane District Council, you are hereby summoned to attend the annual meeting of the Council, which will this evening be a hybrid socially distanced meeting to be conducted remotely via WebEx and also physically here in the main hall of the Guild Hall uh, on Monday, the 7th of June at 7 o'clock. And starting, as always, Mayor and members with the roll call, Alderman Breslin. Alderman Breslin. Alderman Devaney. Here, John. Alderman Guy. Here, John. Alderman Hussey. All right, here, John. Alderman Carrigan. Alderman Carrigan. Alderman McClintock. Here, John. Alderman McCready. Here, John. Alderman Ramsey. Alderman Ramsey. Alderman Work. Here, John. Councillor Jason Barr. Here, John. Councillor Raymond Barr. Here, John. Councillor John Boyle. Good evening, here. Councillor Michaela Boyle. I'm sure, John. Councillor Burke. I'm sure. Councillor Carr. Here, John. Councillor Cusick. Here, John. Councillor Dobbins. Here, John. Uh, apologies received from Councillor Donnelly. Councillor Doyle. Here, John. Councillor Duffy. Sure. Uh, my apologies. Is Councillor Donnelly uh, online? Yeah. yeah, I'm online. Sorry, Councillor Donnelly. Apologies for remotely. Yeah. Sorry about that. Councillor Edwards. Here, John. Councillor Farrell. Here. Councillor Ferguson. Here, John. Here, John. Councillor Fleming. Councillor Fleming. Sure, John. Councillor Gallagher. Sure. I'm sure, John. Councillor Harkin. Here. Councillor Heaney. I'm sure, John. Councillor Jackson. I'm sure. Councillor Kelly. I'm sure. Councillor Loeb. I'm sure. Councillor McGuire. Councillor McGuire. Councillor McHugh. Sure, John. Councillor McKeever. Here, John. Councillor McKinney. Councillor McKinney. Councillor Mellon. Sure, John. Councillor Minnie. Here, John. Councillor O'Neill. Here. Councillor Riley. Here, John. And Councillor Kearney. Here, John. Thank you, Mayor. Just checking on a few members. Alderman Breslin. Alderman Carrigan. Alderman Ramsey. Councillor McGuire. And Councillor McKinney. Okay, thank you, Mayor. Thank you, members. Thank you, John. Is the broadcasting statement. I would like to remind everyone who is present at this meeting in the guild. Yeah. Sorry, Mayor. I don't think any of us could hear you there. Right, let's go on. Members, the Mayor has some technical difficulties at the moment. Uh, we're just trying to sort out those technical difficulties and hopefully we'll be back with you very shortly.
Testing, one, two. Can everybody hear me? Yep, thank you. Apologies, members. I had a technical difficulty. Thank you. Right, we'll, we'll try again. We'll go back to the, the broadcasting statement. I would like to remind everyone who is present at this meeting in the Guild Tour or, or in attendance remotely that the meeting will be broadcast live to the internet and will be capable for repeated viewing. This broadcast may be terminated or suspended in accordance with our protocol. Due to the attendance at this meeting, you are consenting to be filmed and to the use and storage of those images for broadcasting or training purposes and for the purposes of keeping historical records and making those records available to the public. Members and approved speakers are reminded to only have their mics and cameras on while speaking at the meeting and to use the chat facility to highlight a request to speak. A copy of the Council Privacy Notice may be found on the Council website at dairystraband.com. Thank you. <coughs> members, item number four is declarations of members' interests. We can take them now or as they arise throughout the meeting. Okay. Item number five is the welcome and outgoing speech by myself. Elected members, chief executive, council officers and colleagues, it's a day of mixed emotions for me as I hand over the chain of office to my successor, Alderman Graham Work. My year as mayor of Derry City and Strabane District Council has been an unusual one to say the least. While it has been challenging and different, it has also been very enjoyable and insightful. And I am truly honored and privileged to have held the position of first citizen and represent the wonderful people of this city and district. Without doubt, my year as mayor has given me an entirely new perspective on life. And while it was difficult to physically meet and greet as many people as I, as I would have liked to, I did readapt the role to enable me to carry out my new duties in new ways. I engage with the public as much as possible through virtual and digital means. And when the regulations permitted, I traveled across the council area to visit towns and villages and meet with people from all communities. I would like to take this opportunity to extend a heartfelt thanks to each and every one of you here this evening for your continued support and friendship over the past year. I want to say a special note of thanks to the Deputy Mayor, Alderman Work, and my party colleagues, and indeed all elected members in this chamber. I would particularly like to acknowledge the support love, and love shown to me by my wife, Cheryl, and our children, Key and Shane, Mary Kate and Ben and my wider family, including my parents, Brian and Mary. Without them, I could not have carried out this role. To the council team of officers led by the chief executive, John Kelby, I would like to say a big thank you. Sincere and heartfelt thanks to the team in the mayor's office, Karen Henderson and Shauna Lynch, and to the mayor's drivers, Ben and Mal, who have been fantastic in making sure that I kept to the schedule and ensuring I kept my feet firmly on the ground with their continued good humor, jokes and wit. I would also like to thank the staff in the Guild Hall for all their work and support throughout this challenging year, particularly all the cups of tea that was really appreciated. I would also like to acknowledge the support and assistance provided to me by the committee officer team and the IT team, and a big thanks to the wider officer team right across Council for their continued, continued support and assurance. Looking back to when I took office last year, little did I think for one minute that a year on we would still be dealing with the COVID-19 pandemic. While things are improving and we are in the process of recovery, we still have some way to go. And I sincerely hope that we continue with the cautious and slow step approach that will allow that will see us successfully come out of this difficult period and into a bright and better future. In spite of the pandemic and the fact that at times I was limited in terms of getting out and meeting people, I physically, I had a very full diary of commitments throughout the year that saw me prioritize leading our community through the COVID-19 pandemic through consistent and positive messaging and continuous lobbying for investment to support our economic recovery. Social media and digital communications was a key element of my mayoral year, and it enabled me to reach out to the wider public through video messages, thanks to the help and skills of the council's press team. Our social media platforms proved essential in engaging with the public and getting our message out, and also giving the public an insight into the work that I was doing. We took a very proactive role in leading on the health messaging throughout the pandemic, and I want to sincerely thank everyone who helped us in that line of communication. People such as Phil Coulter, Dana, Roma Downey, John Dory, Adam B, Jason Smith, Declan Devine, and Tarot McCullough all responded positively to my call out to help us increase awareness of COVID 
and help us share health messages to curb the spread of the virus. I also had tremendous support from the sports fraternity, youth organizations and political leaders, community groups and artists who all signed up to this campaign. And I am in no doubt that their efforts helped us keep numbers down and save lives. Given the impact, <clears throat> given the impact of mental health, I was particularly pleased to have my mayoral charity, Aurora Counseling, in place. And while the pandemic limited the amount of fundraising we could do, I am delighted with the support that we did receive at the various charity events we organised and the level of profile and awareness that we were able to raise for this very worthwhile charity. I would also like to take this opportunity to acknowledge the important role carried out by everyone across our community to combat COVID-19. The huge sacrifices people made to keep one another safe was phenomenal. The COVID-19 pandemic has rocked us all to our core and had a huge impact not only here but across the world. The loss of life has been heart-wrenching and I would like to offer my sincere condolences to everyone who has suffered loss as a result of COVID and remind ourselves that behind each, each statistic is a grieving family. For each one of us, the way of life that we all took for granted has been totally transformed. But thanks to the successful rollout of the vaccination scheme, there is light at the, at the end of the tunnel and we are seeing a gradual return to the new normal. One of the highlights of my mayoral year has been seeing at first hand the level of community spirit and solidarity that exists here in Darien Straban. From the amazing efforts of our NHS staff to the incredible work carried out by the community and voluntary sector to ensure that the vulnerable and those in most need had the support they needed. I think it's extremely important to acknowledge the efforts of all workers who, who continued to go to their jobs every day, whether they work in a shop, a factory, a farm or driving a delivery van, you have all kept vital services operating. It is also important to note the fantastic work of our own staff here at Derry City and Strabane District Council, all of, all of whom have continued to work providing key services during such challenging times. I had the privilege of doing a series of day in the life experience with our frontline staff to see at first hand the important work they do across a range of services. From bin collection, street cleansing, recycling centres and cemeteries, to grounds maintenance, fleet services and dog wardens. A huge thank you to all of them for the work they do and for the warm welcome when we met. As we step into the recovery phase of COVID, there can be no room for complacency. We need to continue to adhere to the public health advice, avail of the vaccine and continue to take steps to drive down infection rates and protect our community so that we can concentrate on rebuilding our economy. On a positive note, there has been a lot to celebrate in the year 2020 stroke 21. We had the signing of the heads of terms of the city deal funding package that confirmed 250 million pounds of investment from the Northern Ireland Executive and the British government to help bring real growth, investment and prosperity to our region. The list of innovation and aspiring projects that will come from this investment have the potential to tra transform this place, to set it aside from others and I sincerely look forward to the rollout of these projects as we move into the delivery phase of this partner-led investment. The focus on innovation and research and bringing high level jobs and research into our city and district is hugely exciting for all of us. The Heads of Terms announcement came just weeks after the welcome news regarding the relocation of the School of Health Sciences to McGee. This all bodes well as we look ahead to the arrival of the first tranche of medical students to our new medical school at McGee in September. I truly believe that this is a hugely significant and positive step forward in realizing our economic and educational potential. In terms of regeneration, my mayoral year saw huge levels of investment and progress on a range of projects across the council area, including progress in a series of play parks at Sion Mulls, Strathfoil, Maher Mason, Arctic Garvin and Newton Stewart. We also celebrated the completion of the Drumahoe District Park and we saw progress on the Straban Canal Basin alongside the rollout of a significant village renewal project in Ard Straw, Arctic Yarvin, Drumahoe and Donamana. Our planning committee and office team had a busy year progressing with a number of significant planning decisions, including the redevelopment of the Cafe Rock site, the relocation of Lytle and Bunkrana Road, and the extension of Shandolans, approval for the new Ardnish East School and College, as well as approval for the Colmore section of the Derry to Moff Greenway. In addition, we also had a significant number of approvals for new housing developments across the city and district, and several projects were given the green light for development within the Ebrington site. There were occasions during my year that our communities experienced great loss and sadness. Most notably for me, from my perspective, that was the sad passing of my former party leader, personal friend and hero, John Hume. While it was unfortunate that most of us did not get the opportunity to 
publicly express our thanks and gratitude for his huge contribution to politics and civil rights. I know that his family and friends were grateful for the messages of support that they received and the dignified manner in which he made his final journey. He will be forever remembered in the hearts of the people of this city and district. It was also a year when we saw the sad passing of George Floyd in the United States, former Republic of Ireland manager Jack Charlton, Dr. Tom McGinley of the Foyle Hospice and His Royal Highness the Prince Philip, where I established virtual books of condolences to allow our communities to express their sympathy and share their memories. I had the privilege of lending my support to so many initiatives and projects throughout the year and turning the Guild Talk clock and council offices various colours in support of the many charities and causes. There are too many to name, but all of them were important and it was an excellent way of showing support and raising awareness across, across the council area. My Merrill term saw us adapt to new ways of delivering events and festivals thanks to the creativity of our council staff who worked tirelessly to keep our spirits up by organising a series of online events and exhibitions throughout the year. From the virtual jazz performances in the Guild Hall and music sessions at the Alley to the digital tours of our museum exhibitions, pop-up animations on our streets and online exercise classes and boot camps, our teams have ensured that our services and our communities were energised and entertained. It would also be remiss of me not to mention the commitment and resilience of our business community. I had the pleasure of going out on a number of occasions to meet with businesses across the council area to hear at first hand the challenges they face and while they appreciate the level of support that they were give, received for government, they also know that, they, that the road to recovery will have its challenges. It was also sad to see the demise of some of our popular high street stores, including the departure of Eason's. And while we remain confident, however, that the new approach taken by many of our local businesses to adapt to new business practices, including selling online. I look forward to seeing work commence in the coming weeks for the exciting revitalization plans for Derry and Strabane Town Centres. It is important that we do all that we can to ensure we welcome people back into a safe environment that encourages them to support our local businesses and rebuild our economy. While I didn't get the chance to travel overseas, I did have the pleasure of being part of a series of international and cross-border events, including the first ever Golden Vir Virtual Golden Bridges Conference, and had the pleasure of meeting with Antishak Miha Martin to highlight the work that we were doing in partnership with our neighbours in Donegal County Council to promote the North West region as a unique investment area, whilst highlighting the need for investment in our infrastructure, inclu including at City of Derry Airport. It goes without saying, however, that the highlight of my mayoral term has been meeting with young people. I think you all agree that it's been a tough time for our children and young people, and fair play to them. They have been brilliant. Every single day, I am amazed at how talented, creative, and inspiring they are. Earlier this year, I held a series of school leaver events for children moving from primary school to secondary school, and who, as a result of the pandemic, did not get to say goodbye to their friends. All 15 of these one-hour-long sessions were held over six days, and they were hugely su successful and were extremely enjoyable. The feedback from students, teachers and parents was extremely positive, and I really enjoyed being part of it. My Easter art competition saw over 1,300 entries from schools across the council area, and I was delighted earlier this month to award jazz bursaries to five local talented musicians. Just last week, I welcomed a number of school groups from St Bridges College who were participating in the Aspire project into the Guild Hall for a series of socially distant meetings, which were hugely impressive by their tenacity, strength and enthusiasm for the future. Any of you who know me personally will know that I am a massive Man United and Derry City fan. And while that has had its own ups and downs, it's been fantastic to meet last week with the family of the late Mark Farn to unveil the fantastic mural that was, has been painted at the dugout in the Brandywell. Mark was a very special player and a fantastic role model for any young aspiring footballer. And I hope that the mural will continue to inspire more young people into the sport. Members, at the start of my mayoral term, I made a commitment to represent everyone and to do all I can to put Derry Straban and all the towns, villages and townlands in between on the map. I hope that I have done that and offered some level of support and hope to citizens across this council area. As I hand over the chain of office to Alderman Work, I want to acknowledge and wish him all the best for the future. And I also want to acknowledge and wish Councillor Christopher Jackson the very best of luck in his role as Deputy Mayor. One thing that I won't miss is chairing the 10 hour long council meetings. That's one thing that I'm happy to hand over to Graham. Thank you all once again for everything and for all your help during my tenure. It's disappointing that I wasn't able to have a Merrill Ball this year, but I felt that that was a sacrifice worth making to make sure that we all keep safe. I look forward to working with you all 
as we collectively, in a united approach, work together for a better future for all of the people of the Derry City and Savannah District Council area. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, members. Um, Councillor Riley. Thanks, Mayor, uh, for bringing me in, and uh, thank you for the year that you've had. Uh, and it has been such a difficult and challenging year from everyone uh, right across the city and district. And despite the challenges of Zoom, uh, limiting uh, things to telephone conversations and text messages and on-plan technical issues, uh, you still managed to reach out to all those across the district. Uh, out and about the city uh, and district as part of the Day in the Life series it was a great way to connect to to see the the work that has been done uh, on behalf of the public that we all serve uh, by so many good staff in this council. Uh, despite the, the difficult circumstances brought on by the pandemic, I know that you've been able to uh, just now reflect on many of the positive events and occasions that have taken place over the last year. Uh, obviously, the passing of John Hume last year was a particularly sad moment, not just for the city and district, but for the wider world, and of course, his party colleagues and Pat and the Hume family. Towards the end of your term, the handing over of John's three peace awards to display to the public was a lovely gesture by the Hume family, and I'm sure that was a special moment for you as well. Mayor, as you said, uh, you've been able to do so much for all the various different organisations and sporting bodies and individuals across this council area. And I, on, be, on behalf of the SELP, I want to thank you for your year of service as mayor and best wishes to you and Sharon and the family in the time ahead. Thank you. Thank you very much, Councillor Riley. Alderman McClintock. Thank you, Mayor, for allowing me in. Um, mayor, thank you very much for all the work that you have undertaken during your extremely difficult year. You have done everything possible to lead from the front, even though I'm sure at times you would have preferred not to have to uh, chair yet another council meeting or to do another COVID related interview. Um, you didn't get the easiest of years, but the, you were the, a great face for the council during this time. Thank you for the chairing of those marathon meetings. You did everything possible to allow everybody time uh, to get their views across and also to try and keep us in order and to make sure we st uh, stuck to the allocated time. Could I wish you and your family uh, all the best in the time to come? I hope you will take a back seat for a little while, enjoy some family time, which I'm sure is well needed, and then we'll see you back, I'm sure, in full throttle in the council again. But thank you for your year as mayor. Thank you very much, Alderman McClantic. I don't know um, how much you know about me, but I'm not used to taking a back seat. Um, I'll be back in the in the chamber very, very shortly. But thank you very much for your kind words. Councillor Duffy. Thank you, Mayor, for allowing me in as well. And I would like to also take the opportunity to pay tribute to yourself as the outgoing mayor in what has been a very challenging year, but you have done so in representing the city and district very well over, over that time. You have led from the front. Um, you have ensured the public health and the safety of our citizens was paramount and ensuring that those messages got out. Um, you use social media very well um, in conjunction with the, with the council press team. Um, it was really good in terms of getting that message out and you did it in a way that was easily understood and got to as many people as possible. Um, and although opportunities were limited, Brian, I would like to congratulate you on how you have represented um, the council area. I have been able to attend a number of events that you have been there, the most latest um, today in, in our own area in Ballyarnett, and you have been an excellent ambassador for the city and district. So I do congratulate you on that. And it's a pity that you probably didn't get out as much as you probably hoped. Um, I would also like to comment on the Mark the um, council meetings and thank you for um, your fairness in chairing those meetings. They have been difficult and at times we have all pushed our luck. We know that. Um, but you have ensured that the meetings were chaired in a manner that didn't fear too much, um, of course. So we thank you for that. Um, I sincerely hope that we have a better year ahead for all of us. Um, but I would like to thank you for assisting us get through the past year, which was very difficult um, for us as a council area. But I thank you for um, assisting us getting through it. Um, Brian, I hope you and your family um, have at least a few days rest and a few days break 
um, before you get back at it and, and the constituency of Ballyarnett and I know you're very passionate about the local area I'm a councillor with you in that area so I know what, what, you're, what you'll be at every day and to get back into the office but Brian um, I would like to thank you for the, for the year that has just been passed and you have, you've been a great ambassador for the city and district so thank you for that. Thank you, Councillor Duffy. Um, Councillor Raymond Barr. Thank you, Mayor. I'd like to commend the Mayor in his year in office. I found him to be fair, courteous, approachable, and very obliging. And when carrying out his duties in Stavane, he carried out those duties with diligence and courtesy, and certainly made a few friends up there. So well done, Brian. Thanks very much, Raymond, for that. Uh, Alderman Darn Guy. Thank you, Mayor. Um, I'd like to congratulate you on a very, very well uh, run year. Uh, you carried out your duties to the best that you could in trying times. And I, I almost felt that you were basically getting cheated out of a, a full role as mayor uh, because of the, the pandemic. But um, I know that you were well received by everyone, no matter where your duty took you. Uh, a lot of good comments for, uh, from people uh, about you whenever you attended things. and. Uh, I'd just like to say you were very fair with everybody when they brought forward and you, you definitely done your, your role proud. Uh, and I'd just like to say that maybe your party might consider giving you another term, seeing you missed out so much this year. But well done, Brian. <laughs> thanks very much, Darren. Anyone who's, who's done this will tell you one year's enough, pandemic or not. But thanks very much for that. Uh, Councillor Emmett Doyle. Thank you, Mayor. Um, I would just uh, as well like to add my voice um, and that of into to other comments made by, by members to pay tribute to yourself um, and indeed to our mayoress and, and the rest of your family for the service that you've given the city over the last year um, and beyond and will continue to do. And, you know, it's, it's, it's not been an easy year, we all know that. And um, certainly as someone who's come on to this council new, I've found you to be very fair and very approachable. And I wish you all the very best in the, in the uh, coming months and years. Thank you. Thank you very much, Councillor Doyle. Councillor Rachel Ferguson. Thank you, Mayor. And thank you for your year and what was a very difficult and unusual year for you as Mayor. Uh, you have been very fair and efficient. I know it didn't feel that way with the 10 hour meetings, but it could have been worse, you know, Brian. <laughs> you kept us in line. So I just wanted to give our best wishes to you and thank you for everything you've done and thank your family to you. And do take some time to yourself. Thanks, Mayor. Thank you, Rachel. Councillor Paul Gallagher. Thank you, Mayor, for letting us in. And I, like others, I'd like to commend your year in office. I am um, being an independent. I've given you a hard time over the year, but I, uh, I think you give me a fair crack of the whip I, on many occasions. And um, I would just like to thank you. I think that um, you've done a great service, particularly to the people of Turban, uh, on the many, many times that you visit you Turban in your duties. And i also like to thank you for uh, participating on a number of things that, that I was involved in, uh, even coming out on a Sunday and spending all day in Turban on a Sunday. was a, I, It was a privilege to have you. So um, I'd just like to say thank you very much. You've done a good job in your, in your year. Well done. Thank you, Paul. Councillor Gary Donnelly. Uh, thanks, Chair. And just to be associated with a lot of the remarks that were uh, made by our speakers, uh, I did think that you, you give us a, a fair crack of the whip. And uh, it has been a difficult year with COVID and everything that's brought with it. And I think you've handled it very well, and uh, including the marathon. Uh, Meetings, but uh, on a lighter side, uh, I think one of the highlights for me was was when your young flip got a hold of your phone and fra and uh, frapped you or frapped you, whatever it's called. I think that uh, it, that was that was one of them, and uh, man's a legend. But uh, well done, Mayor. Thanks very much, Gary. I was expecting that whenever I brought you on to speak, and my young fellow, as, as you call him, is sitting at home watching this, and I'm sure he'd be delighted to hear that you've just called him a legend. So thanks very much for that, Gary. Uh, Councillor Sean Carr. Mr. Mayor, uh, just to be associated with all the previous speakers, uh, it has been a difficult year for you as mayor uh, because of the situation. Uh, you handled it very well. 
Nothing's been really says about the meetings. He's done very well at the, the marathon meetings. And just to wish you all the best for the future. Thanks, Pat. Thank you very much, Councillor Kiar. Councillor Sean Hartland. Thanks for letting me in, Mayor. Just get myself set up here. Uh, yeah, like others, uh, I just uh, wanted to thank you for uh, uh, doing a good job this year. I think it was, as everybody said, a very, very difficult year. And I think you dispensed with your duties, uh, despite it being a difficult year, very, very well. Um, obviously, we've had our arguments in the chamber, but I think overall, uh, I think you were a very fair mayor in terms of chairing the meetings. And I commend you for that and I thank you for that. And I also thank you as well for being supportive uh, in your role as mayor for a lot of causes uh, that, I, that I would have been backing. So thank you and wish you the best. Thank you, uh, Councillor Harkin. Alderman Derek Hussey. Uh, mayor, brilliant year, I uh, do have to say. And whenever Councillor Duffy referred to uh, those who are pushing their luck, uh, I'm sure my, my name probably came into the frame in your own mind. But I do have to say that uh, within the, the remits of standing orders, uh, you allowed us all our fair share of time in the chamber. And for that, I thank you and wish you well going forward. Thank you, Brian. Thank you. Thank you uh, very much, Derek. And when, when Councillor Duffy mentioned that, the only person that will know whose name came under my head will be me. Um, and, and I won't be sharing that with anyone, but thank you very much. All of you genuinely, um, from the bottom of my heart, for all of your support uh, and, and encouragement over the year, but also for your very, very kind words uh, that you have shared tonight. We'll move on now because I'm not used to people saying nice things about me. So we'll move on to item number six, and that's the appointment of members uh, for each of the following positions of responsibility for year three. And we get the on screen. Okay, and as is normal, the first position uh, of responsibility for year three is mayor, and it's the turn this time of the DUP uh, to nominate for that position. So I'll go to Alderman McClintock for a nomination, please. Thank you, Mayor, for allowing me in. On behalf of the DUP, it gives me great pleasure to nominate Alderman Graham Mark for the position of mayor for the incoming year. Graham has been in council now for six years, and I have no doubt that he will be a wonderful ambassador for the city and district. Graham and the Work family have been an integral part of the community sector for probably more years than they would wish to remember. The family have been, have been massive advocates for the Fountain area of Londonderry and have been instrumental in uh, driving change in that area. Graham, as many of you know, has years of uh, experience working in the youth sector and through the Cathedral Youth Club. And born and bred in new buildings, Graham also has a passion for work in that area. And as a rural councillor, he has been tireless in his efforts for the people of the Falcon Ward. Graham is most definitely a people person, always willing to break down barriers. And he has the energy that will stand him in good stead in the incoming term of office. Mayor, as I nominate Graham Mark for the position of mayor, I do so in the confidence that he will be a mayor for all the people and will be sensitive to the many diverse narratives within our city and district. And of all goes, as we hope as it does with the COVID situation, he probably will be um, inundated with normal requests and many related to the very special centenary year for our wee country that's coming up. So, Graeme, on behalf of the DUP, we do wish you every success and every blessing in the year ahead. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you, uh, Alderman McClantic. Um, on that note, um, it's time for me to hand over the chain um, and... The only other thing left to do is to change my Facebook status to former mayor of Derry City and Strabane District Council. Um, so if you can just bear with us while I uh, do the, the, the handing over the change ceremony. Thank you. Thank you. 
by talk with my friends. Back in the cheap seats, right? Okay, members, uh, thank you, Brian. Thank you, members who've been in contact with me over the last couple of days and give me your well wishes. Members, the role responsibility for the Deputy Mayor, it's the turn of Sinn Féin to be Deputy Mayor. Can I have a nomination from Sinn Féin? Thank you, Mayor. And Graham, I'd just like to start off by congratulating you on taking up the position as Mayor. And I really wish you and your family all the very, very best for the year ahead. Um, congratulations. I'm sure you'll be great. Um, but it is my absolute pleasure to have the opportunity to nominate my good friend and comrade um, Christopher Jackson for the role of Deputy Mayor. Christopher is an outstanding public representative and grassroots activist, not only serving the people of his beloved Waterside, but also becoming someone who has proudly represented the entire city and district and I am sure as Deputy Mayor, he will do all he can to ensure that he gets to visit as many of its citizens as possible from Castle Dare to Colmore and Nahayarn to Ardmore. I would like to wish Christopher all the very best for the year ahead. He will have the full support of the party in everything he does. And from knowing Christopher, he will put his heart and soul into it and be diligent in everything he does. Um, I would also like to send my good wishes to Sinead and the Waynes. I am sure that they are all really proud tonight so for the position of Deputy Mayor, I would like to nominate um, Councillor Christopher Jackson. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Duffy. So, members, at this stage of proceedings, I'm going to hand over to the Chief Executive, John Kelpie, and he's going to take us through the positions of responsibility for chairpersons. John. Thank you, Mayor. Members, starting with the uh, Chair of Governance and Strategic Planning, please, a nomination from the SDLP. Uh, thank you, uh, John. Can I nominate myself for that position, please? Thank you, Councillor Riley. Um, the next position is the Chair of the Planning Committee, Alliance Party, please. Thank you, John. And can I nominate Councillor Philip McKinney to that chair? Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Ferguson. The next position is the uh, the chair of the Assurance Audit and Risk Committee, which is uh, independent Councillor Paul Gallagher this year. Um, the next position is the chair of the Business and Culture Committee. To Sinn Féin, please. Thank you, John. Could I nominate um, Councillor Connor Heaney? Thank you, Councillor Duffy. Next position is the Chair of the Environment and Regeneration Committee. Um, Champagne again, please. Thank you. Could I nominate Councillor Rory McHugh? Thank you. And the final chair is the Chair of the Health and Community Committee. Um, Champagne again, please. Could I nominate on this occasion Councillor Paul Fleming? Thank you. Thank you. Councillor Duffy. 
Uh, now the six deputy chairs of each of the committees, uh, starting with the Governance and Strategic Planning Committee, um, to the DUP, please. Could I nominate myself for that position, John? Thank you, Alderman McClintock. And to the Planning Committee, Sinn Féin, please. Could I nominate Councillor Claire McGuire? Thank you, Councillor Duffy. The Assurance Audit and Risk Committee, Sinn Féin again, please. Could I nominate Councillor Patricia Logue? Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Duffy. And to the Business and Culture Committee, SDLP, please. Uh, John, can I nominate Councillor Jason Barr? Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Riley. To the Environment and Regeneration Committee, uh, DUP, please. Ms. Alderman Keith Carrigan, thank you. Alderman uh, McClintock. And to the Health and Community Committee, again to the DUP, please. It's Alderman Morris Devenny. Thank you, Alderman McClintock. And finally, in terms of the positions of responsibility, a representative on the Reserve Forces and Cadets Association for Northern Ireland, uh, DUP, please. Um, Alderman Ryan McCready. Okay, thank you, members. And Mayor, that's all of the positions of responsibility for year three allocated. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, members. Thank you, John. Um, members, item number seven, um, speeches. I am truly honoured to be elected as Mayor of Derry and Sturban District Council in the coming year. I'd like to thank my proposer, Alderman McClendick, and all the DEP group for their support and trust in this very important year for the city and district. On a personal note, I know my late father, David, is looking down on me tonight, and I would be very proud. I want to thank my family, my friends who are watching online tonight, and I'd like to take this opportunity to praise my mother, Jeanette, on the excellent work she has been doing, breaking down barriers in the city, and the strong community value, values he has taught me on helping people. I am, a, I am so proud to be dad to my two beautiful children, Kate and Anoli, and I want to thank them for the, always supporting me and giving me the drive to take on this role. And finally, but not least, a special thanks to my partner, Tracy, who has always been my rock and is always there to support me. We sit here, members, tonight with light at the end of the tunnel after a very challenging year, but I am very hopeful that we will have better times ahead. The citizens of Londonderry and the entire district have been going through the greatest challenge ever, but we are getting there. We have the vaccination programme in place and hopefully things are returning to a new norm. Our unique community spirit and generosity continues to play an important part in getting us through this. The COVID-19 pandemic has affected our city in the most fundamental ways. It has an impact on the everyday lives and interaction with our family, our friends, our workplace and our schools, our business and our frontline services. All have been affected by it and the challenges it has created. And of course, it has brought great sadness to many who have lost loved ones. And my thoughts are with those who are still struggling to come to terms with that loss. Charities, sport clubs, community groups, churches and neighbours have come together to support those in need and those on the front line. The scale of the effort has been so impressive that I think a testament is the true spirit of the people of the council area. It demonstrates our people's remarkable resilience and that is something that set us in good stead as we take the next steps on our recovery journey together. I'd also like to extend my thanks to, for our, own, our outgoing mayor, Brian Turney, on his successful year. It was a very difficult year, but Brian stepped up to the challenge and had a very positive year in the unusual circumstances. Enjoy the time off with your family, and I would like to take this opportunity to also congratulate the elected, elected Deputy Mayor, Councillor Christopher Jackson, and look forward to working with you within the year ahead. One of the great privileges of being mayor 
is being able to nominate a charity for the year. And I am delighted to be in the position to announce that Foy Down Centre and Trust will be my mayoral charity. Foy Down Centre and Trust is a unique locally based charity providing user led programs to children and young people with Down syndrome from birth through to adulthood. It was set up 25 years ago by parents who thought more could be and should be done to support their children. The core of the organisation is the One Day One Education Programme, which was developed by the world famous Down syndrome education specialist, Professor Sue Buckley. Today, they offer a wide range of needs led programmes to over 120 people with Down syndrome, including the One Day One Education, the music therapy, the speech and language therapy, health and wellbeing, outdoor learning and mentoring, and the youth social enterprise printing project called Downright Crafting. I hope that during my year as mayor, I will be able to raise much needed money for the charity, as well as help raise the profile and create awareness of the charity and the fantastic work it does. During my mayoral year, I promise to represent all the people of this council area, and I look forward to visiting all communities and all regions of the district. I hope to visit new places and meet lots of people from across, across all sectors of the community. Last year, the signing of the terms of heads for the Cities Deal project was hugely significant, important milestone for the entire region. And one of the key priorities will be bringing the Cities Deal projects to the next stage of delivery, where we can see real growth, investment, and prosperity of the region. I'm hugely impressed with the number of innovation and projects that will come from the investment and strongly believe they have the potential for transformation this place and set aside from ours and I sincerely look forward to see the reward of these projects as we move forward in the delivery phase of the partners led investment. In terms of regeneration, I look forward during my mayoral year to see a continued investment in the play provision and also on the rural investment right across the council area. I'm committed to being a strong voice urging government to progress further with all transport infrastructure investment and to deliver on the McGee expansion. I look forward to seeing the first medical students starting in September and believe the university has the potential to tr transform the region. Another of my key commitments is to tackle the issue of mental health in the communities. I will be lobbying government for permanent funding for the crisis intervention center. During my mayoral year, I look forward to seeing the return and events and hopefully one of the world reowned Halloween festivals will go ahead in October. This is an important year as an ordinary centenary celebrations and I look forward to welcoming tourists back to this wonderful historic city for the important historic events. And I will be working with all our teams and council to continue to promote and showcase all our tourism products. Thanks once again to everyone and for their support to date. And I look forward to working with you in the, common, in the coming year. Thank you, members. Okay, members. Um, members, I'm going to call now the Deputy Mayor, Councillor Jackson. Councillor Jackson. Okay. Thank you, Mayor. Um, Mayor, it's it's an honour tonight to take up the role as Deputy Mayor, representing the people of Derry and Staban on behalf of Sinn Féin, and also on behalf of the people of the Waterside, who have give me the honour to represent them and uh, over the, the past seven years. I'd like to firstly pay tribute to the, the work of the outgoing mayor and deputy mayor um, for your hard work during what was really a challenge, challenging and difficult year for everyone. I would also like to congratulate yourself, um, Alderman Work, and I wish you and your family all the best for what will be, um, will, will no doubt be a busy and exciting year. And I want to congratulate you on your choice of charity. Um, it's a very worthwhile charity that carries out 
um, fantastic work right across the, the district. So well done on that. Um, Mayor, society has been turned upside down during the last year as, co as the COVID-19 pandemic swept across our community and changed life as we know it. I want to send condolences like others have done tonight um, to the families of those from right across our city and district who have died as a result of this horrible virus. It's been, it has been challenging, it has been difficult, but as a council and as a community, we continue to battle our way through it and support those who need it. We protected jobs, lifted people's spirits, and supported some of the most vulnerable in our communities. And we're now, as you put it there, um, we're now seeing light at the end of a tunnel. There are better days ahead of us. Um, I'm delighted to see many of our small businesses, bars and restaurants, and our shops open and welcoming customers safely once again. We now look towards economic recovery and rebuilding society. At the heart of this is creating more jobs, protecting existing jobs, and supporting workers and small businesses. There are huge opportunities for this city and district. And, and as, as others have, have pointed out, um, over the last year, we have seen the delivery of the biggest single investment ever that this city and district has ever seen through the 250 million um, city deal and inclusive growth deal. We now have the green light for the state of the art graduate entry medical school at McGee. And I think we can all agree that the events of the last year have shown us the importance of having well-trained health workers, working within communities, caring for people and saving lives. This is about opportunity and the future. We are in a new era and these opportunities are no longer an aspiration. They are here. We need to embrace this and build a district of opportunity for our young people with more jobs, more social and affordable homes and more money in the pockets of workers and families. Mayor, have you, as you have indicated, um, 2021 is the, the centenary of partition. It's a stark reminder of the days, of the dark days of discrimination, division and inequality. Those days are gone. We're now looking to a new and better future. There is a conversation taking a place right across society about a new future and a new United Ireland. And I would urge people in Derry and Stavan to get involved and help shape it. We are in a unique position of being Ireland's only um, cross-border city. And with that lies a huge opportunity to work with our colleagues in Donegal and create opportunities for everyone in the Northwest. So as we begin a new year for Derry City and Stavan, let's kick off with the willingness to work together right across the chamber to deliver a better deal for workers, families and communities. I look forward to working with um, yourself, Mayor, all our councillors and aldermen and council officers on behalf of all the people of Stavan and Derry. Goramira Malva, Avira. Thank you, thank you, Councillor Jackson. I have uh, two young kind of speakers here. Councillor Ferguson. Thank you, Mayor. I think uh, Council Alderman McClintock was on before me. Um, but no, I, I'm happy enough. Congrats. I just wanted to give my congratulations to Chef to uh, Alderman Mark and to Councillor Jackson. I want to wish you the best of luck into your families. And I look forward to working with the both of you to, over the next year to promote our city and district. Um, so all the best wishes. And again, a fantastic charity that do some really amazing work that you've chosen this year. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Ferguson. Um, Alderman McClanty. Mayor, that was actually my name was in for something else earlier on, but I'm quite happy now to, at this moment just to take the opportunity to um, to wish uh, Councillor Jackson well in his term as Deputy Mayor. I'm sure the two of you will work along 
alongside each other very well. And it's good to see another Waterside man being the Deputy Mayor, Christopher. Thank you. Thank you, Alderman McClanthick. Uh, Councillor Riley. Uh, yeah, thank you, Mayor. Uh, just formally on behalf of the SDLP to wish you well in your role as Mayor. Uh, all the best for the 12 months ahead. Uh, and also to the new Deputy Mayor to congratulate Christopher and wish him well in his role. Uh, I'm sure the two of you will work together to represent all the citizens of the City and District as well as his can. So best wishes in the SDLP. I look forward to working with you in the 12 months ahead. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Riley. Councillor Guy. Uh, thank you, Mayor. Uh, I'd like to congratulate Alderman Mark on becoming Mayor um, and hopefully uh, see some sort of normality return and you'll get to enjoy a lot more uh, the functions and so on. Congratulations on the charity that you've chosen. Uh, very worthwhile. And I'd just like to say that, um, of course, this year is our Northern Ireland centennial year. So it's, uh, it's, the role is an even bigger honour for you. Uh, so enjoy it, and I wish you all the best for the year. And I'd also like to congratulate Councillor Jackson on his role as Deputy Mayor, and I wish him all the best for the coming year. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you, Councillor Guy. Uh, Councillor Doyle. Mayor, just uh, to reflect on what other members have said, I want to wish you and uh, your family, of course, you'll be buzzing for you. I know Jeanette will be, uh, <laughs> the whole fight will be buzzing for you, as well as uh, sections of the waterside, I'm sure. I want to wish you, your family, the very best for what will be a very busy year. Um, and I want to uh, extend that uh, those comments to uh, Councillor Jackson as well. Um, I know two of you all work together to uh, sensible heads in the chamber here, and there'll be a um, big opportunity now for you, for you to showcase the city and district over the next uh, 12 months. I want to wish you all the very best. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Doyle. Um, Councillor Gallagher. Thank you, Mayor. Um, and like others, I'd like to congratulate you on your year and also to Christopher, Councillor Jackson, on uh, Deputy Mayor. Mayor, just like I am, um, like Mayors before you, in the coming year, I'm going to give you a hard time to best represent my constituency of, of Sturban. So I be prepared for it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Gallagher. I think. <laughs> but um, thank you, thank you, everybody, members, and I have me say, I know the deputy mayor also. Thank you all for your kind words. I um, I see no further speakers, so members, we're going to move now to item number eight, and that's the nomination of members to the following committees. So once again, I'm going to hand over to the chief executive, John Kelby. John. Thank you, Mayor. Um, so, members, you'll recall that this is a, a two-stage process. Um, so, stage one, um, agenda item 8.1, is the nomination of named members to fill minimum allocations uh, per committee based on party slash independent strength from the council, and that's across the um, six committees. So, um, we we'll start that as always with the governance and strategic planning committee, and may I invite Sinn Féin um, to make um, brief. Please, uh, nominations of that committee. Yep. Thank you, John. Um, the three nominations are Councillor Connor Heaney, um, Councillor Sandra Duffy, and Councillor Rory McHugh. Okay. Thank you, Councillor Duffy. Um, SDLP have three positions on that committee. Um, one is already filled as chair by Councillor Riley. So. I could pass to the SDLP for the two further nominations, please. Uh, thanks, John. Can I nominate Councillor Jim McKeever and Councillor John Boyle? Thank you, Councillor Riley. And finishing off with the DUP, um, DUP um, currently hold the deputy chair position. So, one further nomination, please, from the DUP. Alderman Alan Bresland. Thank you, Alderman McClintock. That's the minimum allocation filled in governance. Um, so if we now move to planning, um, three representatives for Sinn Féin and um, deputy chairs already taken by Councillor McGuire. So two further nominations, please. Thank you, Councillor 
Yeah, thank you. Um, Councillor Christopher Jackson and Councillor Dan Kelly. Thank you, Councillor Duffy. And three nominations, please, from the SDLP. Thanks, John. Can I nominate John Mooney, Jason Barr, and Angela Dobbins? Thank you, Councillor Riley. And finally, two nominations from the DUP, please. Alderman Keith Kerrigan and myself. Thank you, Alderman McClintock. That finalises the minimum allocation for planning. Moving next to assurance, audit and risk. Um, of the three Sinn Féin positions, one is already filled as Deputy Chair. So two positions, please, from Sinn Féin. Councillor Michaela Boyle and Councillor Paul Fleming. Thank you, Councillor Duffy. Two nom three nominations, please, from the SDLP. Uh, thanks, John. Can I nominate uh, Jim Keeper, myself, and John Boyle? Thank you. Thanks for writing. And finally, two nominations from the DUP, please. Keith Kerrigan and David Ramsey. Thank you. Alderman McClintock, that completes minimum allocation of assurance, audit and risk. Moving next to business and culture. The two remaining positions from Sinn Féin, please. Um, Councillor Keir Maguire and Councillor Aileen Mellon. Thank you. Councillor Duffy. The two remaining positions from the SDLP, please. I nominate Rory Farrell and Shauna Cusack, please. Thank you, Councillor Rani. And the two positions to be filled by the DUP, please. David Ramsey and Morris Deveney. Thank you. Alderman McClintock, that completes minimum allocation for business and culture. Moving next to environment and regeneration, two remaining places from Sinn Féin, please. Councillor Dan Kelly and Councillor Christopher Jackson. Thank you. Councillor Duffy, three positions from the SDLP, please. Can I nominate Angela Dobbins, John Boyle and Stephen Edwards? Thank you, Councillor Riley. Uh, one remaining position from the DUP, please. Mr. Venney. Thank you, Alderman McClintock. That completes uh, ENR. And moving finally to health and community. Uh, two remaining positions from Sinn Féin, please. Councillor Michaela Boyle and Councillor Sandra Duffy. Thank you, Councillor Duffy. Three positions from the SDLP, please. Can I nominate Brian Tierney, Rory Farrell, and Stephen Edwards? Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Riley. And finally, the last position from the DUP, please. Morris Devenny and Ryan McCready. Sorry, you have Morris already. Yes. Yeah. Thank you, Alderman McClintock. Members and Mayor, that completes um, 8.1, which is step one of the committees. We now move uh, to step two, which is the nomination of members to fill the remaining places on each committee. There are 36 remaining places on the committee. Um, and as members know, um, there's an allocation uh, to each of the parties and the independents. Just to run through that, Sinn Féin have five remaining places. SDLP of five remaining places, the DUP of three remaining places, um, the Ulster Unionist Party have five remaining places, People Before Profit four, the Alliance have four, Into have two, uh, Independent Councillor uh, Paul uh, Gary Donnelly have, has two, Independent Councillor Paul Gallagher has two, Independent Councillor Raymond Barr has two, and Independent Councillor Sean Carr also has two. Um, as members know, we do this by the DeHunt process. And um, as members will also recall from each of the AGMs, it gets a little bit tricky toward the very end. So if you please just bear with us um, when we get to the end, and, and, and um, I'd ask for your 
your patience and flexibility while we, we try to um, flex the maths in that um, as we get to the last few places. So if we start, um, first position is to Sinn Féin, please. I nominate um, Councillor Paul Fleming on to governance. Thank you. And for the next position is to the SDLP, please. John, can I nominate John Boyle to planning, please? Thank you, Councillor Rowley. Next position is to the DUP, please. I nominate uh, Ryan McCready to Governance and Strategic Planning. Thank you, Alderman Member Quintic. The second of Sinn Féin's positions, please. But I nominate Councillor Tina Burke on to Health and Community. Thank you. Second of the SDLP's positions, please. I nominate Sean Mooney on to Governance and Strategic Planning, please. Thank you. The third of Sinn Féin's positions, please. I nominate Councillor Ailey Mellon on to Planning. Thank you. The third of the SDLP positions, please. I nominate Brian Tierney on to Environment and Regeneration. Thank you. The second of the DUP's positions, please. I nominate Alan Bresland on to Planning. Thank you. The fourth of Sinn Féin positions, please. Could I nominate Tina Burke on to Environment? Thank you. The fourth of the SDLP positions, please. I nominate myself on to Business and Culture. Thank you. The third of the DUP positions, please. Nominate David Ramsey to Environment and Regeneration. Thank you. The fifth of the Sinn Féin positions, please. I nominate Patricia Logue on to Business and Culture, please. Thank you. Fifth of the SDLP positions, please. Can I nominate myself on to Health and Communities, please? Thank you. The first of the Ulster Unions Party positions, please. Uh, could I nominate Derek Hussey on the Governance and Strategic Planning? Thank you. The first of the People Before Profit positions, please. Yes. Can I nominate Mabel Neal on to Environment and Regeneration? Thank you. The first of the Alliance Party positions, please. Can I nominate myself on the Health and Community, please? Thank you. The second of the Ulster Unionist Party positions, please. Uh, could I nominate Derek Hussey on the Environment and Regeneration? Thank you. Second of the People Before Profit nominations, please. Can I nominate myself to Health and Community? Thanks. Thank you. The second of the Alliance positions, please. Can I nominate myself on the Environment and Regeneration? Thank you. First position for independent councillor Gary Donnelly. To be nominated by independent councillor Carr, as I understand it. Uh, sorry, Chair Covens of Strategic Planning, Councillor Donnelly. Thank you. The first position for independent councillor Paul Gallagher. I'll, I'll go planning. Thank you. The 
first position for N2, please. Can I nominate myself on to uh, governance and strategic planning, please? Thank you. The first position for independent councillor Raymond Barr, please. Business and culture. The first position for independent concert, Sean Carr. Nominate myself on the health and communities, John. Thank you. The third position for the Ulster Unions Party, please. Uh, nominate myself on the health and community, John. Thank you. The third position for people for profit, please. Can I nominate Councillor Mabel Neal on to assurance, audit and risk, please? Thank you. The third position for the Alliance Party, please. Can I nominate Councillor McKinney on to assurance, audit and risk, please? Okay, thank you. Fourth position for the Ulster Unions Party, please. Myself on the business and culture. Oh. Thank you. The fourth position for people before profit, please. Can I nominate myself on the business and culture, please? Thank you. Can I just pause for a moment, members? Okay, thank you, members. The fourth position for the Alliance Party, please. Okay. The second position for independent concert, Gary Donnell. Business and culture, John. Thank you. The second position for independent councillor Paul Gallagher. The, excuse me, the second, please, just to recheck the marks in this. Members, if we take a look at the table, um, the next position is independent councillor uh, Paul Gallagher. Um, there are no available places for councillor Gallagher on. Paul Gallagher's two spaces. Of course, he doesn't get to pick this one because he voted already on. Okay. So let's get Paul Gallagher. Okay, I'm sorry. So apologies, councillor Gallagher. We nearly allocated you a third space there. You already have two. Um, so we will pass over that. I move to um, into second position, please. Can I be nominated on to uh, assurance audit and risk, please? Thank you. The second position um, for independent councillor Raymond Barr. Thank you. The second position for independent concert, Sean Carr. Assurance, audit, and risk. I can't go on planning for too long. Thank you. And that leaves our last position, I believe, the fifth position for the Ulster Unionist Party, which should slot nicely into planning. Would that be correct? Would you like to officially nominate Alderman? My name, John Dark. Do you want to officially nominate yourself and then we can? 
yeah, I'll nominate myself and then maybe change it later, but that's okay. Okay, thank you very much. Um, Mayor, I think that is all in order and respect of um, all of the committees. Thank you. Thank you, members. Thank you. Thank you, Chief Executive, and thank you, members. Very, very difficult process. Um, Alderman Clancy, looking on. Thank you for letting me in. Could I use this opportunity just to um, replace yourself on PCSP? I know it is a position of responsibility. Uh, since you won't be able to do that position for the next year, would it be possible for me to um, nominate Alderman Keith Kerrigan to that position? Thank you. Fine. Okay, members. Um, item number nine. That's <laughs> coming to a close now. So, it's the nomination of members of the following bo the bodies, and that'll be held in a special meeting in council to be held on the fourteenth of June. So, we'll, so it gives me great pleasure to, to bring this meeting to a close, and I wish you all well. Thank you, members. Thank you, John. Thank you, newly elected elected mayor. All the very best.